We already invest millions of pounds in bursaries, in access schemes to encourage poorer students to apply to our universities. So we are more than happy to build on that solid track record of really putting our money where our mouth is and really trying to invest in our primary mission, which is to go out and find the brightest students who will really benefit from the fantastic courses we offer. Do you believe that poorer students are currently missing out because of the level of fees? And indeed, if fees go up, it's going to put them off even more? I don't think fees are the barrier at all, actually, to poorer students coming to our universities. And I know that may feel counterintuitive to people, but actually, all the evidence shows that once a student from a poorer background gets those important A-level grades, they are just as likely as their more privileged peer to go on to university and to go to a leading university. So the main problem is really tackling this underachievement of some of these students at school and also making sure they're choosing the right subjects at GCSE and A-level. So they may do very well in some subjects which are not appropriate for the course they're applying for, but of course that disadvantages them when they're competing against people who have chosen the best subjects at A-level to get on to a course, say, in medicine or the very competitive course. So you're essentially saying the problem doesn't start with you, it starts at school where they're perhaps getting bad advice and they're not being given the help they need to get the best grades in the first place. I'm afraid I do think a lot of the problems are there, but I'm also sympathetic to the schools, actually, because they have got a lot to deal with. We've got broader socioeconomic factors, actually, which mean that students from poorer backgrounds almost from the day they are born, have fewer advantages than richer children. And so the schools take on students who are just not as developed in cognitive skills, in language skills. There's really interesting evidence to show that the vocabulary of a child from a poorer background is much more limited than someone who comes from a more educated background. So actually schools have got a lot of problems to deal with as well. So this is why I would urge the government to really examine the root causes of the problem and not put too much emphasis on an aspect of the problem that, that just won't solve the main issue.